I was so excited about receiving the California carnivores package because I've always been interested in growing carnivorous plants, specifically like the Venus flytrap, but they always died on me and then but late so lately I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos on plants and stuff, and since I got aquarium plants, I decided why not just buy some of these, you know, carnivorous plants? And I also bought a book to go with it so I would have a book to read on how to take care of them. And then I watched so many videos. And also, another reason why I really wanted to get these is because I added new herb planters and stuff indoors. And then we got a lot of these flying, they're called fungus nets, and they fly everywhere. They bother some of the housemates. And I heard that these carnivorous plants will catch the fungus gnats. And oh, yeah, here, oh, there's a sticker. I got a card and a sticker and stuff. And so I decided to get that to all, so they would eat the fungus gnats and everything around the herbs. And here I am unpacking everything. I ended up dumping the paper on the floor because I was like, yeah, I'll put it away later. Here's the first plant. I also saw a, I saw a lot of videos from California Carnivore. Um, I saw how they packaged it. It's so packaged so delicately and and everything. Oh, here's the book. I got um, the book. The version of the book they had for sale on the website is a signed version. So I was like, oh, that's neat. I get a signed version of the book. And I will be reading this to learn about how to keep my my carnivorous plants alive. When I was deciding on plants, I just got the cheapest beginner plants and I got three of them. I got the Saurisenia X Jutha Tip Soper Potted. And I got a Dionia M Typical Potted, and a which is the Venus flytrap. And then I got the Drosera Capensis Narrow Leaf Potted, which is the one with things sticking out. I think it's called a sundew. One looks like a pitcher plant, one looks like the thing with, I think it's called a sundew, and then one is a venus flytrap. And here I am opening the very securely pl packed plant. This is the Drosera capensis. And also I used a coupon code from, uh, I think it was CP, CP, CP Hub and it made a big difference well actually it says i got a five dollar discount the shipping was eight dollars but anyways um i think if you don't want to get the book then you can just get the 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 kits and there's free shipping on them but i mean just buy what you want i was wondering how the plants would look because i heard that the venus flytrap uh, hibernates or goes dormant during winter, but all the plants look okay. The Venus flytrap looks alive. The pitcher plant looks alive, a little wilty, but I assume it's dormant-ish or something like that. I need to watch more videos and read the book more because I still I don't know how to take care of this yet. Anyways, thank you for watching my video. Let me know what you thought. Let let me know what you think of these plants, and if you have carnivorous plants yourself, let me know.